All right, guys, so a lot of you have been asking for some more basic tutorials. So today, my name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm going to teach you how to backside 180. The backside 180 seems to be a trick that a lot of people, when they're just starting out, don't really get. They kind of have a hard time with it. The front side 180 is easy, and then they go to the back side 180 and they go, I just don't, I don't get how this thing works. Um, I think a big part of it is that you're riding, and then you pop, and then you're, you're going backwards. And that's a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling. So I'm going to hopefully break this down into enough steps so you have some practice steps so that you can actually learn that and get it down very, very well. Cool. The foot position for the backside 180 is pretty much the same thing as an ollie. With any of the 180 tricks, you're essentially just doing an ollie 180. That's the way I want you to think of it, an ollie 180. So your front foot is right about here, right in that position, and your back foot, you want it like right in the center because you're gonna pop straight down as much as possible. So the more that you can pop straight down, the more you're gonna be able to do like a straight ollie, and then you'll be able to form that 180. Cool, so that's a foot position. Up on your toes, right in the center of the board, just like that, right there, boom. That's your back foot, that's your front foot, that's what it looks like, isn't it beautiful? Now, the real practice steps to this, it's really very similar to the ollie because like I said, it is an ollie 180, so it's just pop, 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 your tail, pop, pop, pop. Now, where the difference comes in is when you're dragging, your head and shoulder should already be turning. I tried really hard to find a good angle that I could show you guys, and we tried a, a lot of different angles of film, so I hope that you, you get this concept, because if you do understand the concept of when your head and shoulders turn, you'll be able to do the 180. It's that easy. Good, so I'm gonna do my very best to explain the timing, and I hope that I kind of get it right. I almost want you guys to just watch the footage and look at what it looks like. So you're riding, your foot's in the ollie position, or we could say backside 180 position if we really wanted to be technical, and you bend down, and then as you begin to pop up, it's, I think it's like just a split second before your tail hits the ground, your head and shoulders are already turning. Now, your head and shoulders are turning in the opposite direction of the front side 180. So your head and shoulders are going that way, and then you pop your board ollie up into the air, And by the time you're ollied up into the air, like it's, it's before your board even starts to lift off, your head and shoulder should be turned. At least, I would say, at least a 90 degree angle. If your head and shoulders are turned at least a 90 degree angle by the time you pop up, that's gonna allow your feet to turn. And at the height of your ollie, or backside 180 we're doing really, but at the height of your pop, you're gonna be turned about a 90 degree angle. So your head and shoulders already have to be turned because that's first. That's the one thing that people don't understand well on the front and back side 180. You pop, your head and shoulders are already turned and then your legs turn. So if the peak of your, of your 180, you're at a 90 degree angle and then you can do the other 90 degree angle on the way down. But if your head and shoulders aren't turned, there's no way, your feet are just gonna turn and your board's gonna go everywhere, and your body's gonna twist in half, and it's gonna be the hardest thing you've ever done, and you'll never land it. So it's really just getting down that timing between you bend down, as you're popping up, your head and shoulders are already turning, and then you pop up and you form that ollie. And it's kind of like, you can kind of think like, if you do an ollie, and then you like push your front foot forward to like bone the ollie out or level it out, That's gonna be the 90 degree angle point in your backside 180. So you're straight, you pop it up, and then it's like boom, right there, 90 degree angle, and then you come down the rest of the 90 degrees and land. There is a practice step that I personally think helps, um, but a lot of beginners have a harder time doing this practice step than they do doing the whole 180. So I'm gonna give you the step and you can do it if you want, don't do it if you don't want. It's to pop up and then land on the front truck and turn a backside 180. This might be easy for me because I do so many manuals or whatever, but I feel like it's a gradient to doing it because really what you're doing is you're popping up, you're turning your head and shoulders only, not your feet, and then you land and then turn your feet. 
And then you can do a 90 degree 180 in the air and then land and spin. So if you don't know how to land on your front foot, you'll never be able to do that. And that's what the first step gives you. Ollie up, land on your front foot, then turn. Now ollie up 90, land on your front foot, then turn. Now you're halfway there, right? So now ollie up, turn 90 in the air, and that's the peak of your, your pop, right? And then you turn the other 90, and then you land straight and roll away switch. That is the backside 180 in his excruciating amount of detail that I could think to put into it. If you guys have any, any further questions or you're running into anything at all in your backside 180s, which this is a trick I know a lot of beginners are. Like when I was teaching Lance all of the beginning tricks, this is one of the ones that he had the most hard time with, just doing a backside 180. And it's just one of those awkward feeling tricks. But once you get that motion of your head and shoulders down, you get that feeling of the turn. It's a really fun, really easy trick and you just kind of do it anywhere. It's super sick. Cool, to kind of recap the whole thing, put your feet in the ollie position, your back foot right there with your ball of your foot straight on the tail because you're going to be popping straight down. Bend down and as you start to bend up, like as you rise up to do the pop in the ollie, you're going to have your head and shoulders already turning. Then pop the board and as your ollie would just go up and you're gonna push your front foot forward and bone it out, now you're at a 90 degree angle. Then do the other 90 degrees, still in the air, land with your legs bent and roll away switch. That's the backside 180. I know you guys got this. You got it, you got it, you got it. Land the trick and send us your video, hashtag push skateboarding on the website. If you guys are really, really, really trying to learn all of the basics, my best, biggest suggestion for you is to get Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Really, Skateboarding Made Simple Volume 1 covers the ollie, frontside 180, backside 180, pop shove, front shove, heel flip, kick flip. That's all the basics. If you get those down really, really well, then you can go on to Skateboarding Made Simple two, three, four, five, and six. Get into the intermediate tricks, the advanced tricks. There's a whole lot of stuff that you guys can learn and you'll get really, really, really good. But I want you to know the Skateboarding Made Simple videos are different than the YouTube tutorials. They are a full program, full program. And it's meant to be done from the beginning to the end, skipping no steps. It gives you every step in there and you just start at the beginning, you do every little thing and that's, that's where you go. So the videos are great, definitely check them out, brailleskateboarding.com. You can also get them on iTunes, Google Play. They're available on every kind of platform I could think of for whatever device you have. So check it out, I know you'll like it. And I really, really, really like seeing you guys improving. I see your Instagrams, I see your comments, I see your videos and I, I see you guys improving and it really stokes me out because that's why I make these videos. It's really for you guys, it's not for me. So leave it in the comments below. What tricks are you trying to learn? What problems are you having a hard time with? What questions do you have? Anything you guys wanna know, please leave it in the video. Lance and I will read the comments and we'll make the next videos based on what you wanna see. We really, really appreciate your subscriptions, your likes, your comments, your support. Without you guys, this is, uh, doesn't exist at all. So thank you, we really appreciate it. We really, really do. Please subscribe, please like, leave a comment below. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, BrailleSkateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.